In this video, we're gonna learn how to make this grainy texture together. Hi, my name is Esther Nariyoshi. I am an illustrator, designer, and a top teacher on Skillshare. You're watching my quick snack series here, where I explain how to use Adobe Illustrator in short episodes for designers and illustrators of all skill levels. All inside Adobe Illustrator. So let's get started. So first, I'm gonna make a rectangle, which is M on your keyboard. Just go ahead and drag it. And then we wanna use the gradient tool, which is G on your keyboard. I have it over here, so I'm just gonna click on it, or you can double click your gradient tool. It's the same thing. So I, I'm gonna go ahead and click on this default gradient slider. So this will give me a very straight linear gradient between black and white. First thing I'm gonna do is to rotate the angle to 90 degree. Actually, I want the bottom to be darker, so negative 90. And then you can tweak the transition point by sliding this little diamond icon. This will determine, well, the transition point. So I'm gonna move this. I also want to move this dark point a bit forward. So I have a nice heavy color for my grain. So that's all I want for this step. And then I'm gonna go to effect and open up my effect gallery. So this is my effect gallery. I'm gonna just make it a bit smaller. So this is 25%. The effect that I'm using is under the folder texture. It's called grain. So I'll go ahead and tweak the intensity and the contrast until you're happy about what you're seeing. So this will probably look like what you will have eventually. So you wanna make sure the transition is to your liking. So I'm happy with this. And you can also change the direction of your grain type. For example, if you click on the vertical, you can get this scratchy type of effect. I'm gonna go back to stippled and then just click on okay. Now you have a grainy looking rectangle here on your artboard. So normally I would go ahead and turn this effect into a piece of flat image, which is using, by using rasterize, by using rasterize. So when you click and go to window, actually go to effect and rasterize, but for some reason it's not working for me today. So. It just gives me another opportunity to show you another way of doing the same thing. So it's super simple. I'm just gonna go ahead and screenshot this portion. I wanna make sure I don't pick up the background. So my screenshot area is slightly smaller. So go ahead and do it and just drag that image back. You can go ahead and delete your original. This is big enough for me. You can even make it bigger. Don't worry too much, even if it's pixelated, because we're gonna image trace, which you can find by clicking on window and image trace. Sometimes it's all grayed out. You can click outside and then go back in. So these are my options. First, I wanna make sure I have my ignore white checked. This particular, let me just drag it up so you can see the whole thing. There you go. And then I wanna turn on the preview so that I can see the result. This one is interesting, but I would like my grains to be a bit more prominent. So I'm gonna turn down the threshold, maybe turn up and then I mean, it's okay, but I like my grain to be a little more finer. So I, I'm gonna increase the path count and just play with the sliders. 
see what this one does. And you want to make sure the noise level is very low in this case that you can see the finer grain. It's pretty neat when you have the threshold pretty low because you can see almost um, some kind of speckle effects. Ooh, I like this one. So I'm just gonna go ahead. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on expand at the top to actually act on it. So what I did was to turn the image into vector information. So all these little points, when you zoom in super, super close, these are paths. So that's pretty awesome. You can change color, of course. I'm gonna make it a little happier. So don't worry about the color at the beginning. Remember we made the black and white version because we need that kind of contrast to help Illustrator to pick up the grain information. You can always change the color at the end. So I'm gonna make a rectangle on top of this. Um, I will turn off the fill so I can see through this window. And then I wanna have both selected and make a clipping mask, which is Command-7 on your keyboard. So that is how we make grainy grains. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. Go check out my Skillshare classes by clicking the link below to get a free trial. I will see you next time.